Recorded Books and One Click Digital present Every Day is Mother's Day by Hilary Mantel Narrated by Sandra Duncan The author begins with the following quotation from Blaise Pascal. Two errors. One, to take everything literally. Two, to take everything spiritually. And a further quotation from A. H. Clough. Do not adultery commit. Advantage rarely comes of it. And now, every day is Mother's Day. Chapter 1 When Mrs. Axon found out about her daughter's condition, she was more surprised than sorry, which did not mean that she was not very sorry indeed. Muriel, for her part, seemed pleased. She sat with her legs splayed, and her arms around herself, as if reliving the event. Her face wore an expression of daft beatitude. It was always hard to know what would please Muriel. That winter, when the old man fell on the street and broke his hip, Muriel had personally split her sides. She was, in her way, a formidable character. It wasn't often she had a good laugh. Click, 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 said the mock crocs. They were Mrs. Sidney's shoes. She passed without mishap along the avenue, over that flagstone with its wickedly raised edge where Mr. Tillotson had tripped last winter and sustained his fracture. They had petitioned the council. Mrs. Sidney's good legs, the legs of a woman of twenty-five, moved like scissors down the street. Her face was white and tired. Her scarlet lips spoke of an effort at gaiety. She had carried the colour over the line of her thin lips into a curvaceous bow. She had once read in a magazine that this could be done. Of what lies between the good legs and the sagging face, better not to speak. Mrs. Sidney never dwelled on her torso. She had given it up. She stopped by the house called the Laburnums, by the straggling privet hedge, spattered white with bird droppings and ravaged by amateur topiary and tears misted over her eyes. She wore the black coat with the mink trim. Arthur had been with her when she bought the coat. It was budgeted for. The necessity had been weighed. Arthur had been embarrassed, standing among the garment rails. He had clasped his hands behind his back like Prince Philip, and with his eyes elsewhere, he tried to look like a man deep in thought. She had not trailed him around the shops. She knew what she wanted. A good co- Sample complete. Ready to continue?